Hello everyone and welcome to Open Ukulele. Today I want to give you a short introduction into Open D on the baritone ukulele. Let's get started. I'm going to show you three major and minor chord shapes that you can move up and down the neck and with that you can already play hundreds of songs. First, we have to tune the ukulele into open D and for that you need to alter the pitch for the three highest strings. First, tune your high E string down to a high D string. Second, tune your high B string down to a high A string. And last, tune your G string down half a step to an F sharp. Now when you play all four strings, you have an open D. Remember it's important never tune up, always tune down, lower the string tension, otherwise you might damage your ukulele. Alright, let's get started. Just play all four strings, open. This is a D chord, pretty simple. When you bar the first fret, this becomes a D sharp or E flat. When you bar the second fret, this becomes an E. When you bar the third fret, this becomes an F. And so on. F sharp, G, G sharp, A. A sharp or B flat, a B, a C, a C sharp, and on the 12th fret again a D. Pretty easy. Let's move on to the next chord shape. This time we start with a G major. Put your index finger on the second fret, second string, and your middle finger on the first fret, third string. Now play all four strings. This is a G major. Now move both your fingers one fret up, so like this, and bar the first fret with your index finger. This is a G sharp. Next is an A. After that we have an A sharp or B flat. Next is a B. And so on. C, C sharp, D, D sharp or E flat, E, F, F sharp, and again a G. Perfect. Now let's move on to our third major chord shape. Put your middle finger on the first fret, first string, and your ring finger on the second fret, second string. Now play the bottom three strings. This is the B major. We don't play the, um, the low D in this case. So for the first few chords in this chord shape, you only play the bottom three strings. Now move it all up one fret and place your index finger on the first fret third string. Now play all three bottom strings. This is a C major. Again move it up one fret and you get a C sharp major. Again up one fret and now this time you can play all four string because the low D is already part of the D chord. So play all four strings. Now move it up again one fret, you get a D sharp or E flat. And this time again only play the bottom three strings. Move it up again, you get an E, up again, this is an F, F sharp, G, G sharp, a, A sharp or B flat and again a B major. Alright, let's move on 
to the minor chord shapes. For the first shape, we're going to alter the major chord shape I showed you first into a minor chord. For that, we have to change the major third into the minor third. This time, we're going to start on the first fret. Put your pinky on the first fret, first string, your ring finger, first fret, second string, and your middle finger on the first fret, fourth string. Play all four strings. This is a D-sharp minor. Now move it up one fret and put your index finger on the first fret, third string. This is an E minor. Next, we get an F minor, F sharp minor, G minor, G sharp minor, A minor, A sharp minor or B flat minor, B minor, C minor, C sharp minor, a D minor, and again a D sharp minor. Okay, perfect. Now let's have a look at the second minor chord shape. For that, again, we will look at our major chord shape and alter it into a minor. We start with our G major shape and we're going to move the ring finger from the second fret, second string to the first fret, second string. Play all four strings. This is a G minor. Now move it up one fret and bar the first fret. Now you have a G sharp minor. Again, move it up. You have an A minor, A sharp or B flat minor, B minor, C minor, C sharp minor, D minor, D sharp minor, E minor, F minor, F sharp minor, and G minor again. All right, let's move on to our last chord shape. We're going to have a look. We start again with the major chord shape. This was a B major, only play the bottom four strings. And this time we just remove the middle finger from the first fret first string and play all four strings. This is a B minor. Now to move it up the neck, just move your ring finger to the third fret second string and bar the first fret with your index finger. C minor, C sharp minor, D minor, D sharp minor or E flat, E minor, F minor, F sharp minor, G minor, G sharp minor, A minor, A sharp minor or B flat minor, and again B minor. All right, perfect. Now you know three major and minor chord shapes. You can move them up and down the neck and play the chords in different voicings, different positions on the fretboard to give it a special different feel in the song. That's it for today. I hope you liked it. You can scroll down into the description. There's a link to a PDF with all chord shapes. You can print them out, noodle around, have fun, practice them and discover if Open D is something you might like. All right, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy strumming!